Yeah, we got Spacey McGrady in the building. What's going on, Spacey, man? Man, ain't shit, man. Trying to get that work done. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. That's it. Now, last time we interviewed you, man, you was working on a project, man. So, so we just going to start. We just going to start there. Hold on for a minute. The last time we interviewed you, mm -hmm. you was actually uh, you was actually working on a project. Yeah. Uh, what's What's the deal on that? Well, I got a producer tape coming with um, BHM Facts, and I got one coming with Kane K, and I got one coming with, uh, I got some um, some shit coming with Peasy too, BHM Peasy. I got some, some shit with Anti the Menace. I got some shit with a lot of niggas. But my actual tape, me rapping this shit, I got, um, it was on the way for sure. But I'm dropping singles first, though, so like just stay tuned with that shit. What's the name of the song? Uh, the name of the song is Vixen. Vixen? Yeah, the Vixen, like. Okay. Man, that motherfucker so hard, boy. You got down the motherfucker cranking like a motherfucker, boy. But, <laughs> man, God, right there. All right, so 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 what does it mean? Like, give us a little background. Well, really, um, I was on the way to work. Right? I was on the way to Amazon. And my nigga Bino, he sent me the beat. I was like, damn, this motherfucker hard as fuck. So I, I had called his ass. I was like, man, hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I'm finna spaz a little bit when I get off work, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you, bro. So I got down and went to the studio, like, go ahead, yep, uh, hey, uh, let me get an hour right quick. You already know what the fuck going on. Give me a little hour, you feel me? When that motherfucker dash in like 25, 30 minutes. Huh, that little bitch, she was vixen. Yeah, she gorgeous. I'm like, damn, this motherfucker too hard. So I was like, yeah, this, I'm, I gotta drop this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I gotta drop this bitch. But now, right. but like, really, when I go in the studio, I just freestyle and shit. So it's like, I just go in that motherfucker, freestyle. I don't need no smoke, no drink, no drugs, none of that shit to start, bro. I just go straight in. Yeah. So last time I talked to you, you basically was saying that the rapping shit was on hold. It is. So so you gotta explain this to us, cause it's all right. All right, all right okay. let me explain it. So basically, I'm working on the on the producer tape and all that shit. I'm gonna drop all that shit first. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna drop Vixen in the mix of that shit, just to you know what I'm saying, to hype motherfuckers up and shit for my own um, tape. But I ain't really. I'm focused on the tape, but I'm not focused on the tape. You right. feel me? So I'm focused on more the producing shit, really, right now. But I'm going to drop that single in the mix of all the producer tapes and all that shit dropping or whatever. Like, I'm going to drop that shit. So, But, like, I'm really focused on my producer tape right now. I got, like, two or three producer tapes with different artists and shit dropping. You feel me? Like, I'm just working. You feel me? Okay. So well, I remember you was telling us last time that uh, about facts plugging you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, go into detail about that. Like, like how did y'all meet? You know what I'm saying? How did y'all click? How was the energy? All of that. Yeah, I ain't even gonna lie. I met Fats at work at Amazon. I used to work at Amazon and shit. And I ain't know who the fuck, I ain't know who Fats was, but I talked to him before in the bathroom and shit. But it was just on some on some casual shit. Like, like we was like leaving the bathroom and shit. Like, we were talking about work or some shit like that. But like, after that, um, I think probably like a couple days after that shit, like, um, this girl heard him say that he need a producer. So this girl, she went to him. She was like, oh, um, this and that. Spacer right there, he producing this and that. Like, he be doing this and doing that. So, like, instantly we clicked just like that. Like, we was like, oh. He was like, oh, you producing this? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I produce. So, and I, um, I think this was the time I was fucking with you. I was fucking with Music Head. So I was like, yeah, shit, I got a little studio, you know what I'm saying? I work at it and shit like that. So, like, I go to that motherfucker and then, um, yeah, go to that motherfucker, engineer people and shit. But um, I was telling him that shit, and he was like, okay, bet, we're going to lock in. Nigga came the next day <laughs> to the studio the next day. Like, yeah, let's work. I'm like, damn. Oh, yeah, I fuck with him because he ready to work. You feel me? I fuck with niggas that's ready to work. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't got time to have, for that bullshit. You feel me? You, you didn't even move down here to do music, though. Like you said, you just nah, moved yeah, down man. here. You yeah. just, when did you actually decide this is what I'm going to do? Mm -hmm. Um, I think 2021, I think. I was still working at the airport and shit. Like, I was making beats on my phone at the airport when I was working at the airport. So I, I worked a lot of jobs, okay? Just I, cause I need some money, you feel me? But every time I work at a job, I'll be doing, like, some music shit at the job. So, like, on my, I was on my phone just making beats and shit on Garage, man. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking around with the shit. And then I think I started taking that shit serious after I got at my own pops giving me my laptop, my Dell laptop. I think I started taking that shit, like, real serious. And then I was like, was it? Yeah, it was 2022, New Year's 2022. I was like, man, I'm going to start. I'm going to take this shit serious. I'm going to go ahead and got them 
get his laptop, download FL, start going crazy with that motherfucker, you feel me? So, ever since then, that, you know what I'm saying? So, ever since then. So, I was just, it just really just flowed in with me, for real. Like, I ain't really wanted to do music. I just, you know what I'm saying, just wanted to make a way. And I guess music was my way, so. Mm -hmm. And how long have, was you doing it before you realized, like, damn, I'm kind of good at this shit? About a year. Give me a good year. I started getting the ass placements and shit, like, from South Carolina people. And really, Atlanta people, too. I started getting a little bit of shit from Atlanta people, too. So, like, ever since, oh, ever since then, <laughs> I was, um, you know what I'm saying, ever since I started getting the placements and shit, like, I was like, damn. I could really go far with this shit, you feel me, so. Yeah, let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. Like, as far as the placements and stuff go, like, when was your first placement, and who did it come from, and how did it feel, and... My that, first ever placement? Um, I think, like, my first, like, big place was when I got a song on 2K20... 2K22. I got a song on NBA 2K22. Um, it was with my first ever beat I ever made on my phone. I got a place with that shit. I was like... Oh, yeah, I got to take this shit serious. I got a song on, on one of the biggest games in the world. You know what I'm saying? So I got to take this motherfucker serious. So I took that shit serious. After, it really it really was after that. After I got that song on 2K, I was like, oh, yeah, I got to go crazy now. So that's the that's the shit that, um, that broke me for real. Like, I got to go fully in this music shit. You feel me? So what's the motivation now? Um, The motivation now is like, me going in the studio playing my shit and everybody just jump bumping up, you know what I'm saying? Just jumping and shit like that. Like niggas fuck with my shit for real. Like I think really when I on went to Miami in December and I seen all these motherfuckers like jumping to my music, I'm like, oh yeah. That's my motivation right there. Like when people like actually fuck with my shit. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. So like when people actually fuck with my shit and not on no fake shit, like like really fuck with my shit, like that's what, that's what motivates me right now, for real. How long does it take you to make a track? Uh, um, a song or a beat? Both. A beat only take me about five minutes, for real. A beat will take me about five, ten minutes. Because I got a template on my own um, FL, and it's, like, already mixed and shit. But, like, I don't got, like, the whole beat template, but I got, like, the you know what I'm saying, the starting shit, you feel me? So once I get that shit, then get rock and rolling and shit, so... Yeah, but a song, a song will take me probably about 30 minutes with mix, because I got to mix my shit too, but like it'll probably take about 30, 35 minutes to make a song. 30, so do you mix your song as you go or do you just wait till it's complete? Nah, I mix it as I go. And then at the end, I'll just do like the finishing touches and shit. What's the typical day like with Space and McGrady? Without, dealing, without music and all that shit, this is a regular day. Outside of music, yeah. Shoot, man. I'll probably go out, wake up in the bed. I probably I wake up late as hell though. I wake up at like one o'clock. Wake up, shit, get ready, go to the city, see what's popping in the city and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's really it. I just go out, go to the city, and then see what's going on. And then after that, and I'll go to the crib. <laughs> that's so, really, that's so really you, it. You kind of wing it every day as just a new experience. Yeah. So like, what like niggas will call me and shit. They're like, oh, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? And I'll just go with that. I'll go whatever I want to do, you hear me? But I mainly just drive to the city just to see what's going on for real. You know what I'm saying? So you got enough plugs down here, enough connections down here, where usually you get a phone call from somebody, they put you on. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. usually how you get your day started. Yeah, that's how I get my day started. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a personal life as far as female? Uh, nah. nah. Single? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So right now you just really just focused on your career, is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I ain't, I ain't okay. that relationship gonna stop me. You know what I'm saying? That shit gonna stop me like a motherfucker. And that why you say that? Why you say that? Cause I'm a man, you know how females is, bro. Like they be like, Oh, man, you don't spend no time with me and this and that, man. I don't got time for that shit, bro. Okay. And you know, females they like the they like that attention, so you gotta give them attention. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't got time for that shit. I'm I'm trying to get my music shit attention, bro. Fuck that, man. So are you saying that if a female want to talk to you, you're not gonna to talk to her? I mean, yeah, 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 of course. Okay. But I'm not, I don't, I'm not in the relationship. You feel me? But like, okay. I, don't, I got a lot of female friends. Okay. So okay. A lot of females cool with me and shit. And I even don't know. Oh, I'm doing this and doing that with them and shit. Like, we just cool. You feel me? I don't got like no. You feel me? Like I ain't in a relationship and none of that shit. So what do you like to do for fun when you go out? 
Um, besides music shit, shit, really, I just like to go to the club. I probably like go to the club and just vibe and shit, you feel me? Or like go anywhere that's anywhere I can vibe at and shit. Like I'll just go in that motherfucker just vibe out and shit. And just chill. So even when you're not doing music, pretty much everything you do is still cored around music anyway. Like, exactly. So okay. that's why it's, that's why it's so hard for me to answer that question because all I do is shit with music. Right. You know what I'm saying? Going to other studios yep. and vibing out with them for a minute to that's go all, cook up. That's okay. literally all I do. Okay. Every day. Okay. So yeah. do you feel like music is a sport? If you put it in the way, yeah. Okay. Like it depends on like how you put it in. Like I feel like music is just a is a I don't know. That's a good ass question. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I ask is because I actually do. I actually feel like music is a sport. Yeah. Like, you know, you like when you when you young growing up, mm -hmm. like you usually hang around people that do what you do. Mm -hmm. If you got a bunch of guys and they into basketball, you usually find yourself playing basketball a lot. Mm -hmm. Football, whatever. Wrestling, you know what I'm saying? But when you got guys that's in the music, y'all usually find yourself, yeah. you know, you usually find yourself being connected with guys that do that. Like, people grow up doing the same thing or, or being around people that they can relate to yeah. when, they, when it comes to that. But see, I'm going to say, but see, me, when I was a cyclone, I wasn't around all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't around none of that shit. Like, I was just around, like, gangsters and, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, shit that get me locked up. And that's probably why you never grabbed a hold of it while you was there. Cause but as soon it. as you got here, yep. you were around that, that, so it's like, damn. Yep. Now mm -hmm. look, you can't get enough. You're right. You know what I'm saying? You're absolutely right. So yeah, to me, I think, yes, it is a sport. You know what I'm saying? It's competitive as hell. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It. Now, on, on a scale of 1 to 10, mm -hmm. what's your skill level? I give myself like a, a 8 right now. Okay. So what do you think you can improve? Uh, really improve my sound for real. I can improve my sound. My sound can always improve though. I feel like I can improve my sound. I can improve like me being in front of the camera and shit. Cause you know, I ain't I ain't used to none of this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm okay. saying? So I can improve that and I can improve um let me see. My beats, I feel like I got my beats down back because I've been making beats for like three years. So like I already know like all the basics and shit like that in my beats or whatever. And um but like with me rapping and shit, yeah, I gotta work on my sound. That's a, when you, know, you say your sound, are you talking about like your style, or you, or do you mean nah. like your clarity? Both. What, what do you mean? Both. Work on like everything, like in general, like with the music and shit. Like just keep getting better. My rapping shit. Like I be telling people, like like I said in the last interview, do some shit different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To do something different in your song. That's what I do. Shit. Do something different. Do you feel like your your musical style is different than other people's? I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I ain't. I ain't heard not one person that sound like me. Okay. Some real shit. When you make beats, mm -hmm. do you have a specific artist in mind? Like when you when when you coming up with that track, like such and such a sound good on this or? Really, me. I be. I go to the studio like with the artist. So like, if I'm there with a with a certain type of like I like if I'm in the studio with Peasy. I'll be like, oh, he hop on this type of shit, this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I do that shit too, yeah. So I pull up on people at the studio and just cook up with them. You feel me? What about when you do. cooking up by yourself? By like, myself? I just be making random shit. Like, but I don't do you be, have a general, like, you idea know what, what I'm cooking up? Nah. Yeah, or who would sound good on it? Or is that something that comes later? That comes later. Like, I, I listen to the beat back and I'll be like, oh, let me see. Who who be good on this shit? Like, I got to think, you know what I'm saying? But, nah. Okay, so I hear a lot of producers say that I heard the beat in my head, man, and I just had to make it. Yeah. Like, are you one of those type of producers or are you one of those type of producers that just kind of goes with the flow and it just I, comes out the way it comes out? I do both. Like, um, But, like, if I, like, hear a beat on the radio or some shit like that, I'd be like, oh, damn, I got to make a beat like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'd I be, I be like that sometimes. But, like, shit, like on um, Be Hunter. We be hunting song. I was like, I gotta make a beat just like that. That beat was hard as hell. So I was like, okay. yeah, I gotta make a beat like that. Sometimes it'll be like that, or sometimes I'll just be like, damn, I need, I'm about to cook up some shit right quick. And I'll just get on my laptop, go on my email, look at some loops and shit, and just cook one of those shit. Like, I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. Like, um, mm -hmm. that's a lot of fucking advancement, bro, in three years. Mm -hmm. Three years. You know, it's I, I, I know guys that been cooking up 
longer than that that haven't even advanced to that level yet. You know what I'm saying? They work. They good. They good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they just, you know what I'm saying? It's just everybody don't get to where you are as quick as you got there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy as hell. Like a natural gift. Yeah, that is crazy as hell though. Like once you once you put your all in the music shit, bro, you gonna get the way where the hell you wanna go for real. That's why I do. I put my all in this shit. Like okay. anything I do dealing with is dealing with some shit with music. Like every time I go somewhere, dealing with some shit with music. Cause see, some niggas they just go places just to go places. Me, hell nah. I'm gonna go to the man. If I go to a club, bro, I'm gonna go network with the DJ. Oh, right, I'm going it's to the a DJ. Networking event. Uh, either networking event or go to a club or anything. Shit, I'm gonna network with the DJ or I'm gonna network with anybody in that motherfucker. That's right. the first thing I'm thinking about before I start turning up and shit. That's the first thing I'm thinking about. Networking. Turn it Literally. up. Nah, I ain't turn. Yeah, okay, I ain't turn. Let's talk about that. Yeah, let's I'm saying. You turn up? Yeah, I turn up for sure. Yeah. So, what's your idea of turning up? My idea of turning up, I don't know. Like, I just go that motherfucker just start grooving. You feel me? Like to the beat and shit. Like, like I don't know. I just be in the in the club just grooving and shit. Especially like if, if one of my artists are like B like BH and PZ or whatever or BH and Facts, I'm with them. I'm dancing their music because you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm a supporter. Like I support who support me. But. Right. Right. I was going that motherfucker just start grooving and shit like that. You feel me? Like, okay. I don't know, okay. shit. Being around the vibes is a turn up then. Yeah, hell okay. yeah. Yeah, that's okay. yeah, that's basically yeah. Is it inspiring? Yeah, Being hell yeah. Beautiful women? Yeah. You said a lot of beautiful women. Yeah. <laughs> Being around beautiful women, is that inspiring? Make you want to show out, it's, you know what I'm saying? Make some cold tracks, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, do you work with female artists? Like producer wise or song wise? Period. Like, do you record yeah. them? Do you produce them? Yeah, like, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah. I got some shit with um with Boo Five. Um, who else? Boo Five. I got some with um. This is a girl from South Carolina. Her name is Leah. She hard as fuck. I'm trying to. I'm a. I'm a man. I'm gonna get her right for real. So I got some shit with Boo Five. This girl named Aaliyah. I got some shit with my cousin too. My cousin, she hard too. Her name Ari. I'm trying to get her right too. Her and her friend. Um, who else I got songs with? Females. I got songs with a lot of females. You know what I'm saying? So I can't even name them top of my head. But them, them like the main three that I know right now that like I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, build up. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Damn, how the hell I forget her? Um, K Melodies. I'm working with K Melodies too. Okay. K Melodies, she hard as fuck too. Like she can sing like a motherfucker. She can sing her ass off. Right, okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how the hell I forget K Melodies like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm my dog. So now is K Melody somebody that you related to? No, 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 no. Okay, how y'all meet? How did we meet? We met at um, I think at Patchwork. I think. Okay. Was it? Was it at Patchwork? It was. It was one of this shit because I um, I'm signed to um, it's a um producer team called Thundercats, and uh, we went to the um studio and shit, and I think she pulled up, and then I was like, shit, what's your name? This now, like she was like, oh, I'm K Melodies, and she was singing the shit. I'm like, oh yeah, we got lock in. But this was like a little minute. This was like when I first started making beats for real. But like we locked back in, um, we locked back in probably like last year, mm -hmm. and you know so we started making some hard ass shit. You feel me? So it was like that. I think we, yeah we met at the studio. I think so. I don't know for sure, but I know I know we met like through Thundercats and shit through my little producer team. I mean, okay, yeah. So tell me right now, like I want to know from in your personal opinion, like how did you feel about the women in the industry right now, man? Cause man, I, they on top. They doing their thing. Ain't they? they doing their thing. I'm yeah. trying to get one with sexy red, boy. Hey, they go out to you. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you a goddamn song, sexy red. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a goddamn millionaire, boy. What's your, um, what's your end game, man? Like with my end game? Yeah, as far as this music thing goes, where do you see yourself at in the next two or three years? Man, two or three years, bro. I see myself on the Billboard, man. Oh yeah, real shit. I'm billboard. Okay. I see myself richer here. And what steps do you see yourself taking to get you closer to that goal every day? Shit, just keep networking. Keep working. Do the shit every day. Keep working. Do different shit. Like I t like I tell you, do different shit. Mm -hmm. Keep networking. Just keep doing what I'm doing because I'm already going up. You see, I'm going up. In three years, you see you see what I got right now. Like what the hell, like. So do, are you hard on yourself? Do you feel like sometimes, like, I could do more, I could do more, I could do more? Yeah, hey, I'm always like that. Okay. I'm always like that. Always. So, so where do you see yourself needing improvement then? Um, going out more. I feel, like, I, I feel like I should go out more and talk to more people and shit. Because, like, I don't really talk to people like that because, you know, some people, they got bad intentions and shit. But, like, I, I talk to people, but, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't really, 
You, know, you could you feel like you could talk to people that. more. Yeah. That's that's cool. That's understandable though. Yeah. You gotta be careful out here nowadays, you know what I'm saying? A lot Real of stuff shit. going on, man. Just like the interview shit. I need to goddamn talk more. I need to get used to talking to people and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? No, like you actually interview. doing a good job, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because all we doing on here, man, is just keeping it real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just, just a having a normal conversation. Yeah. yeah, that's all it is, bro. Real shit. Producing. Mm-hmm. Rapping. Mm-hmm. Engineering. Mm-hmm. Which one do you enjoy the most? Rapping. Why is that? Man, rapping, that motherfucker so fun, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Rapping is like fun as fuck. Like that, that like open up a whole nother door. Like engine, I mean engineering cool, but you get tired of that shit real quick. But like producing shit cool too. But I, I've been doing shit for so long. So rapping, like every time I go in the booth and rap, like I be like, it's just a whole different mode. I be in a whole different mode when I rap, bro. Like I don't know. I, I like rapping more though. Do you feel like rapping is something that you can that you can sustain uh, more of a longevity thing? Yeah. Uh, you think you'll get burnt out on producing? Yeah, shit. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of already is. I ain't gonna lie. Cause I've been making beats so long, bro. I done made so many beats. But but watching artists take that track mm-hmm. and create something out of it, doesn't that inspire you to want to keep producing? Yeah, 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 for sure. Every time P's your fats off of my beat, I'm like, yeah. I keep producing, though, but that shit be hard as fuck. But I, I, you know what I'm saying? I've been making beats so long, bro. You know what I'm saying? Once you, once you make art, like, more than a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand beats. Damn, damn, I'm stuck like a motherfucker. Like five thousand beats or some shit like, like four, five thousand beats. Man, you get tired of that shit, bro. I ain't gonna okay. Lie to you. So out of all of the beats that you've made, mm-hmm. who dropped the coldest shit on one of your tracks in your opinion? Damn. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Anti and facts. Those niggas that slid that fucking beat we got. They shit unreleased. What's the name of it? It's called, I don't even know what it's called, bro. That shit just so hard, like. Damn. What was the name of the track? Uh, I don't even, I don't even remember. Mm. Like, like, it's, it's not even the name on the song. It's just bitch on facts. It's anti. It's not even the name of the song. Like, that. like, them niggas just slide on that motherfucker. Like, that's one of my favorite. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna name like five of my favorite songs that I got. That's okay. unreleased or that's out. Um, that's one. Two, I got one with, um. Bufai, the one with Bufai, that shit hard as fuck too. She she be sliding. Um, I got another one with PZ and Facts. Um, it's called Something to Say. That shit so damn hard. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Um, what's another beat? What's that? What's that song? Oh, I got another song with my nigga. Um, it's a dude. It's a dude I know from work. His name like ZZ. I think like ZZ Splat or something like that. It's like Splat, but it's like with ZZ or some shit like that. But like, I got this is one beat hot though. I'm like this shit so fucking hard, bro. But he don't even like the song. I'm like, bro, you tripping. Like, the beat is like on some chill shit. Like, that motherfucker's so hard, bro. Like, that's, man, that shit's so hard. And I got another one. Um, Let me see. Another beat. Oh, yeah, I got another one with PZ, too. That shit hard to fuck, too. That shit unreleased. Um, and I got I got some more. My nigga, uh, Huncho Moot. Huncho Moot. We got some hard ass shit, too. I don't know. I got some hard shit with a lot of, no, a lot of motherfuckers, bro. Like a lot of motherfuckers, but like, oh yeah, my my another favorite song is a song called Nine on Me with um KK. I mean Kane K. Like that shit is so hard to fuck too. Like that motherfucker is crazy. Be, okay. Like, I don't be know I don't be know what the fuck I be coming up with these beats. Like my beats be different than fuck. So like niggas already fuck with that shit. Cause my shit don't sound gen- like it don't sound like some some generic shit. Like my shit sound different as hell. Like, but that's why niggas really fuck with my shit for real. But like, yeah. Like I be trying to create a whole nother way. Do you know any artist that's like not really heard of that's cold? That's not really heard of. That's cold. Yeah. Shit. Um, Kane K. Um, now on um, the ZZ Splat dude, he um, he worked with me and shit. Him. Um, even even artists that you haven't worked with, you know, that I haven't worked with, that you just heard and was like, damn. Shit, my nigga Sior. You know what I'm saying. My nigga C.O. But he, but he already damn near known though. But like, still that nigga hard to fuck too. C.O. Um, who else? What is it about his music that you like? His shit like, like get you like thinking about shit. Like I don't even know. Like his shit just get you like just be like you hear this shit like you gonna like feel that shit for real. Like cause he be, you know what I'm saying? That's why I fuck with music like that. Like I feel that you shit. You putting like, his pain on that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That motherfucker be goddamn riding. And then like he got some hard shit too. That motherfucker be riding too. 
what I'm saying? All his shit be riding though, I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with his shit. Uh who else has not known? Um shit, my nigga Decatur too. Decatur hard too with the rapping shit too. You feel me? What is and it about his shit. music that you like? His shit just like on some turn up shit. Like I fuck with that shit. Heavy, like that turn up shit, like you got down, like like this shit gonna make you bop your head. Mm-hmm. I like music like that too. Like it gonna make you bop your head to that shit. Okay. Uh, have you heard sure. any other producers that you fuck with that you be like, damn, like I like that, like yeah, yeah, you know I what I'm saying? Um, my nigga, oh yeah, JP, um, he from South Carolina. Um, my nigga, ISO, he he from I think he from South Carolina too. Um, my nigga, Bino, he from I think he from Atlanta. I think shit. Um, what's the name? Mars. Um, Marzy. What's the name? Marzy. G? Mars G. Yeah, Mars G. I fuck with her. She hard too. She, she, I think she just started what producing what like two or three years. I think. Yeah, Mars, like, I said years. I meant two or three months. Mars got like, cold, man. Yeah, she she been produced like three months and, and hard as fuck. Like what the hell? Yeah. I like Jets and Made music. This shit straight. I got a whole lot of people that I work with, bro. That I so let me with. ask you this: Do you feel like you got a heads up on or 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 a one up by by you um, relocating to Atlanta though? Like by you being right here? Yeah, hell yeah. Explain that. Like, why? Why do you feel like that? Man, Atlanta would bring that, sh- that bring that hustle out of you, bro. South Carolina, that shit is a whole bunch of hate. I don't even fuck with South Carolina like that. I'm like, I don't like people. All be telling me like, why you don't come back home? I'm like, man, ain't nothing but hate out there, bro. Like, what the hell? But like Atlanta, like I see everybody in this motherfucker grinding like a motherfucker, like grinding. You know what I'm saying? And I fuck with that shit. I like to be around people that grind and shit. You know what I'm saying? That hustle. Like, Atlanta gonna bring that hustle out of you, you know, I'm telling you. Do you feel like you would have the sound that you have if you didn't live here? Uh, I feel like I... You said if I wasn't living here? Yeah, if you wasn't living in Atlanta, do you think your sound would have developed the way it did? Um, uh, probably not, and nah, hell no. Nah. Because other people, they're like, they be bringing me ideas and shit, like all the artists I be working with, they bring me, like, different ideas to work on. You know okay, so, so you feel like you got... Your, your music is influenced... Yeah. By the people that you have been around, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. And now that's tr- that's beat making and and rapping. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So when you hear one of your beats, cause do you rap on your beats? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. So when you hear a beat, mm-hmm. your beat or not, you know what I'm saying? Does the song idea come to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it automatically. Do. Automatically. Okay. That should do, yeah. Like, if I hear a beat, I already gonna know what the fuck I wanna talk about. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I don't know. That shit just be coming to me. I don't even, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever had one of those moments where you went to the studio and mm-hmm. it just didn't happen for you that day? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Like, I only, like, I feel like I make my best songs when I'm going through some shit. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. Okay. If I'm, like, going through some shit or, like, if somebody pissed me off or some shit, like, I'm gonna make. A hard ass song. What about if you feeling good? I'm feeling good. I'm gonna I'm make a hard ass song too. Okay, so it's gotta be your 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 music is tied to your emotions. Yeah, exactly. Like I can't be in this motherfucker tired of hell making a song because the song gonna sound tired as hell. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so that makes sense. That the song makes gonna sense. sound fucking lazy. You know, I ain't want my own. I hate my song to sound lazy. Right. Like niggas can tell your shit lazy. You hear me? Right. Niggas can tell for real. So I want all my songs with energy. Have you ever heard a song by somebody that you mess with and didn't like it? And didn't like it? Yeah. Yeah. Did you tell them? Was you keep? Did you keep yeah, it real I told with them? I kept. Bro, I keep it real with like everybody know me. Like niggas that know me in person, I keep it real with everybody. I won't just be up flat out like man, this shit ass as fuck. I won't be like that, but I'll be like, man, change this, change that. Like I'll like help the nigga change shit. You feel me? Like I'll tell him change this, change okay. that. I'm that type of nigga. I'm not that type of nigga be like, man, this shit ass fuck, bro. You don't need to goddamn rap no more. I'm not that type of nigga. Right. I'm the type of nigga to better you. You feel me? Right. But if you don't want to get my help, then I can't do nothing for you. Okay. You can lead the horse to the water, but you can't make him drink it. Right. Some real shit. Okay. Who in the industry outside of Sexy Red <laughs> do you want to work with? Uh, I want to work with Lil Uzi. But like, Oh, well, not 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 the now Uzi. I want to work with the old Uzi, like the 2016-17 Uzi. 
Now what's the difference the, between what he doing now and what he did then? Man, I don't know what the fuck he doing now. <laughs> that nigga got there. <laughs> that nigga got there doing some weird ass shit. I don't even like that shit. I like I don't like niggas that be worshiping the devil. All that dumb ass shit, man. Oh, okay. I ain't fuck with that shit. But like the old Uzi, like the 2017, mm -hmm. 16 Uzi. I want to work with that motherfucker. Um, who else? Um, let me see. Sexy Red. Shit. Really, any in industry nigga, bro. I work with them like. As long as they like hard, I'll work with them, you feel me? I'll work with anybody. Okay. Real shit, but like, main, the main shit I want to work with right now is probably Sexy Red. She is going crazy right now. <laughs> I was trying to get that hit. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that shit. Yeah. All I need is one hit to get me out the door. You know what I'm saying? I just need that one little hit. But like, really, every time I manifest myself, like, I get, you know what I'm saying? And I always get that shit. Like, I always say I want a song with anti the and I got one. It's crazy as hell, man. Cause I was saying, I've been saying that shit ever since I knew about it. I'm like, man, this thing hard to find. I got a good song with his ass. Got a song with him. Okay. Just that, just that simple. Like the shit be, shit really be easier than what niggas think, bro. This shit be so easy to get songs with industry niggas. So all you really got to do is just put your name out there, bro. Put yourself out there. Go to different studios, bro. Lock in with niggas. Like they be like, oh, cause every time I like, if I go to like a studio or some shit, they be like, oh, you know, Sex Red work here, or you know this and that work here and shit. I be like, shit. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go to the engineer. I'm like, shit. You know what I'm saying? I got some beats for you. Feel me? Like, play for Sex Red and shit. And she gonna hop on one of the motherfuckers. Unless them shit, like, totally ass. But, like, she gonna hop on one of the motherfuckers. If you, if you give an engineer 10 fucking beats, she gonna hop on one of them shit. She probably not gonna promote it or send it, but she gonna hop on one of them. You know what I'm saying? What you saying? You got an archive? An uh, archive? You got a whole archive of beats and shit in the stash? Shit. In the stash I, put up? I, I, man. I do, but I, I be sending my beats out. I send my beats out a lot, though. So how many beats do you, would you say you have, like, put up? Put up? Mm, I got a couple. I probably got a few hundred. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Then I ain't okay. really, like, send out and shit. Or, like, they old as fuck. I got some old-ass beats that I don't really like, but some people do like them, but I don't like them shits. Okay. So I don't send them out Right. if I don't like them. So now, when you say send them out, explain to us what you mean. Like, emailing different artists on... Um, and or different artists will hit me up. They be like, "Oh, you got some beats? Send, send them to their phone or send them to their email." But if, if I if I see like artists on live and shit, I be like, "Shit, let me pull up." And most likely they'll let you pull up because you're a producer. So they right. need everybody. Every artist needs some beats. So I just pull up on the ass and then, you know what I'm saying? Get to know them and shit. That's what's up, man. So look, yeah. <clears throat> when can we start expecting some some content, man? Man, as soon as possible. As soon as Unk stop playing with the uh... I'll talk shit. <laughs> I'll talk shit. Nah, it's gonna be as soon as possible though. I'm gonna get I'm trying to get that content right though. I'm just really okay. just working on like, I don't know, I'm just I'm working on a lot of shit right now. But yeah, like, we wanna see some videos of you cooking up with artists. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We wanna see some videos of you actually performing. Yeah. We wanna see some video footage of you in the studio. Just different content, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I, man, I be trying to get artists in here to um to do so we can do like content. We can do content in here. So I can promote music heads. But like I ain't wanna like just be out at different studios and shit, trying to you know. I mean, I can shit. do that, but Why I be not? I be wanting I be wanting to promote music heads though. I be trying to bring them in here. Yeah, that's cool, so and that's cool too. That's cool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But that's how you, know. you still content is king, man. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, you're right though. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm man. I'm that shit, shit. taking nigga. That shit taking nigga from ten to ten four. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you like, right. How high as you can go, man. You're right. Just from being some good seen. Content. Just from being seen, bro. You're right. It ain't even got to be good content. Content is content. Yeah. It could be some butt ass content, but guess what? <laughs> People seeing known. it. Yeah. They be coming from what what did Master P say when I bought the autobiography of Master P? He said, You gotta establish yourself in the hearts and minds of your fans. Mm -hmm. Right? That means over time you become a household name to them. Mm -hmm. You become so familiar to them that they feel like they know you. You see what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck about how good or bad the fucking content is. That's what you care about. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the artists, they, you know, the fans don't give a fuck about that. Man, they just want to see you, man. You could be on that bitch getting beat up. They don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's content. <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Shit. Nah, you're right. Shit. That's how damn AOKD got put, got put over. Just <laughs> getting beat up and shit. You feel me? Nah. I ain't, I ain't about to get beat up, though. That shit did. That nigga beat my head. Right, right, right. Yeah, nah. All right, man. So, any podcast you want to go on? Shit, I want to go on like some some underground Atlanta shit. Like, I, I be seeing a whole bunch of like 
uh, what's what's that shit? Off the radar. Um, what's another podcast? Uh, no jumper, of course. I want to. I'll, I'll, I'll go on no jumper for sure. Um, Why you want to go on no jumper? Just just out of curiosity. Because they popping. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let's get my name out there. What about shit like um the Breakfast Club? Yeah, Breakfast Club too. That shit, that shit straight. That is that something that you always wanted to do? Nah, not always, but the opportunity coming, I'll do it. You know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Well, we ain't gonna keep holding you, man. We definitely appreciate you stopping by. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Giving music heads, you know what I'm saying, the opportunity to sit down and chop it up with you, man. And um, one more time for the fans that want to follow you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my Instagram is Spacey underscore McGrady. S-P-A-C-E-Y underscore M-C-G-R-A-D-Y. And my Twitter is, I think it's Spacey underscore McGrady too. S-P-A-C-E-Y underscore M-C-G-R-A-D-Y. Um, my TikTok is Spacey McGrady. Um, my, what else? My YouTube is Spacey McGrady too with a star on the side. So, like, you'll see my shit. All right. And for the fans that want to know, mm-hmm. when can we expect some Projects to drop, man. This shit on the way, man. That's all I gotta say. This is for going the way. Okay, It's gonna be on the way soon. Okay. You see me? Okay. Gonna How many songs way. you got recorded? Psh, shit. Oh, uh, you talking about like me rapping? Yeah. Shit. Probably about good songs or all in general? Cause the me, ones that you feel like is good enough to put out. Shit, I got about a good 30, 40 right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. About a good 30, 40 right now, all recorded that music head. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. You got to get it out there, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Man, are you going to drop a single first? Or are you going to Yeah, I'm, I'm going right? to drop Vixen first, and then I'm going to drop this other song first, and then I'll probably, like, go into the project and shit. I got, I got one more thing to ask you, man. Like, Atlanta gets a bad rep now because, you know what I'm saying, Atlanta is not what it used to be as far as, you know what I'm saying, um... You know the bullshit that happens around the city. Have you had any negative uh, uh, altercations in Atlanta, or has, or has it all been sweet? Um, um negative altercations, uh, not that I think of. Cause me, I ain't gonna lie. I, I block all the negative shit. Like I don't, even, I, f- I forget about all that shit. Okay. And so I don't really don't. Not, not that I can think of. Nah, hell no. Nah. Okay. Like, I ain't never got a like, like a nick, man. I ain't never got robbed. None of that shit, man. Nah, man, hell no, nah, man. Okay. Nigga ain't going for that shit. <laughs> man, hell, nah, I ain't never got, nah, I ain't got none of that shit. Nah, hell, nah, because I stay out of the way for real. Okay. So well, that's a good thing, man. Yeah. And, I, and, and you know, we, we want to hear the positive stuff, too. So that's that's yeah, definitely yeah. a good thing, man. Well, yeah, we appreciate yeah. you, man, once again for coming on, man. And um, we out, man. It's peace, nigga. <laughs> sure.